Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green and today the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers. Oh God, okay. We, are th we have three games left in our Premier League life and we are up on Manchester United, which means that all we have to do is win out. If we win out our three remaining games, we will be champions of the Premier League. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk today about series finales because we're about to have one. Um, there's Jay Bennett. And... Um, yeah, I want to talk about, I guess I just want to talk about series finales and when they're good and when they're bad. Um, John Green and John Green are starting up front. They're teammates in life and in love. They've got Leroy Williamson uh, there in center midfield. Um, Merrick Merrick as well, silent but deadly. Out on the corners, uh, we've got twice as vice and uh, as Holden Goldfield. I feel a little sad because I'm only going to be able to play with these guys uh, four more games, and, and they know that too. So uh, right before the game... Um, I went into the locker room and uh, I talked. Not only um, not only did I talk uh, to the players, but so did John Green and John Green um, and all of us, uh, the four of us. Oh, oh, ball, John Green. He wanted it bad, but he didn't get it. Um, the three of us. I mean, we all said um, we were saying our goodbyes essentially. Um, that uh, that that uh, we weren't going to be uh, part of the team moving forward. That uh, that this was our last season. Um, and that we're we're moving on to well, a different universe, essentially. Um, you know, I if you believe in a quilted universe, then we're moving into to a, different, uh, a different reality in which different things have occurred, in which it is not 2015, but 2013, and uh, in which the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers have not reached uh, the glory of uh, nearly winning the, the Premier League. Um, and uh, this was, I mean, obviously a little bit confusing, uh, talking about quantum mechanics to... Uh, to you know, professional footballers, but uh, they, um, they, the, you know, what what is what is clear to them is that we aren't going to be part of the team anymore. Um, I, I did also have an, a, a good announcement to make, which is that uh, we do have a manager uh, for the club moving forward. Uh, look at beautiful ball, John Green and his boots. Fat Lucas is going to take over uh, the management of the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers next season, um, and I'm confident that with uh, Fat Lucas um, as as manager. And uh, D. McGoldrylocks and Jesus Angel up front with guys like uh, S. Holden Goldfield and Twice as Vice on the wings and with, uh, with, with a more than $10 million uh, transfer budget that um, good things can come. There are only good things ahead. I really believe that for the Swoodley Poopers. And uh, I'm very, uh, I, I, I feel like we've left the team in the best possible position. John Green and John Green um, both, both felt with me that they needed to, uh, to continue on a journey with me. Um, that they wanted to continue to be part of uh, not the Swindon universe, but of, but of my universe. And I, I, I support that because, I don't know, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's something pretty unique uh, to have a manager, two players, all with the same name, two of them married. You know, we're just very close to each other. And uh, it's hard to imagine playing, playing any, any game without the support of... Uh, of these guys and of course they can't separate from each other because you know they're teammates in life and in love um, and they take that very seriously uh, oh ball John Green he almost has the strength but he doesn't um, by the way we have to find a goal here I can I can oh that what that, that how is that a foul that's an ankle hug um, so uh, I can't I can't get all valedictory yet because we still have to win um, in order to oh no oh gosh that was my life flash before my eyes um, I don't, I really don't want to get this close and then in the last season be second place. I couldn't bear it. Um, so, uh, yeah, but about season finales, um, you know, I, I think, or series finales, I, I am, I am in the minority, I guess, but I really love the way that this won't contain spoilers. I really love the way, or not major spoilers anyway. I really love the way the Hunger Games ended. Um, I thought it was, uh, smart and, um, Oh, God, we had S. Holden Goldfield making a great run, and he was going to be alone on goal, but I just couldn't get the pass off. I thought it was uh, smart and unsentimental and realistic, and I really, really liked it. Speaking of things I really, really like, I really, oh, it could have been, but it wasn't. Look at look at that. I mean, that's just, this is new school, I mean, old school Swoodley Pooper football. That, that could have, oh, just needed Ball John Green to put it away. Let's see if we can get a center back to score here. It's Ball John Green. No. Come on, come on, get out there, John Green. Nope. Oh, that was great passing, though. Oh, boy, now we got to hustle back. 
hustle back. Fortunately, the Swoodley Poopers are made of hustle. That's what they're, that's, that's their, it's just in their, guys. Oh, 404 goal not found. Um, but, uh, I, I, yeah, so I really liked the way the Hunger Games ended, and I thought it was, uh, you know, unsentimental and, and not, not like the easiest way for the series to end, but, but, but realistic, and, um, yeah, and I really liked it. Um, I also, uh, I, did not, I, I liked the way the Harry Potter series ended until the epilogue, which I did not like um, for a variety of reasons, but mostly because I don't think, I just, I don't know. I mean, I understand, I understand the urge there to take it as far into the future as you can and to say, what, what are you bringing it back for? It better be halftime, not a foul. Okay, it's halftime. All right, we, we really need to find a goal. We had a couple of great opportunities there, but nothing came of them, and we really need to find a goal in the second half. Okay. Um, there was a score line there about Manchester United that I did not see, so I probably should pay attention to that since we're here at the end of the season. Um, right. You can go back and pause it and see what the score was, but I can't because I live in the present. Um, anyway... Uh, yeah, I mean, what bothered me about the epilogue was 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 that it it took everything too far forward for me, and I don't like that in a in a story. I don't like to be taken out of the actual frame of the of of the narrative. Um, that said, uh, you know, Harry Potter in particular is very different from every other series that's ever been published, except maybe Narnia. The um the the intensity of the pressure the value of the the pure value of the intellectual property um is uh was a factor i mean you can't you know like you know sh she was closing off a lot of possible disasters from an intellectual property standpoint of someone like hijacking your story and having a bunch of things happen that you don't want so like it's it's just it's a vastly different beast in the same way that like movies movies are you know like you can't have I don't know. I always feel that way about movies. Like, they they kind of can't they can't end the way that you might want them to because um, there's you know literally billions and billions of dollars at stake in these big movie franchises, and of course you know nobody wants to part with those billions of dollars. So um, we've got to just get it up. We've got to do swoodly pooper thing where we come on. Why you why do you draw a ah, law? You're coming out of the game. No! Oh, God. That's why he took it out of bounds. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's nothing you can say in a situation like this. Oh, no. It's not even like a knock. It's a serious... Oh, no. We're just... Oh, look at him standing over his husband. That's heartbreaking. You can see it in other John Green's eyes. The fear. Oh, no. To, to go through... To go through a an FA Cup final without him uh, the end of the premier oh oh tell you what that's not the ending I would have drawn up alright we just gotta we gotta find a goal for ball John Green come on guys I, I wish I wish there were timeouts in soccer because I know that nobody's oh nobody's on the nobody's thinking about the game right now Okay. All right. Let's just everybody take a breath, and then let's go get a goal. And you know we can. This is this is still, this is still our. This is still our tournament. We can still win this. We've got D McGoldrylocks. Look at that turn. Look at that turn. D McGoldrylocks wants it. Yes, D McGoldrylocks. He's big. He's red. He's found the perfect bed. D McGoldrylocks. D. McGoldrylocks, you saw him do that for, for Ball John Green. You saw, look at that pure power, and you know that was for Ball John Green. You know who that was for. I mean, his mentor, 
his friend who has taught him the ways of striking and finishing. And he finishes for other John Green and then immediately runs, uh, well, he cartwheels toward, toward the sideline uh, to, to go uh, thank his friend. Okay. Can you, I can't imagine, I, I just, I, all, all, all I can hope is that somehow the trainers are wrong and he's okay. I, I mean, uh, oh, I cannot imagine finishing this season without him. We don't have the strikers. It's a terrifying, poss this is not what you want. Oh. Oh. Mark Anderson. Tremendous work. I'm sorry, I can't talk about series finales anymore because the series finale of the Swin and Town Swoodley Poopers has just changed dramatically in a way that I could never have expected, which is that little D. McGoldrylocks is, is going to be called upon to do things like win the FA Cup. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just it, everything has changed all at once. Oh, God, you know other John Green is... I, in fact, I'm going to take other John Green out of the game so that he can go be with his husband. Because you know he's not his head isn't in the game at all. Like he's just w worried. Oh man, I'm worried too. He's not alone in being worried. I mean, out of substitute. Oh right, right. I am out of substitutions. All right. Okay, so we're gonna close it out with uh, Jesus Angel, so that other John Green can go. Yep, just go, be with your husband. It's all right, buddy. It's that. It's gotta just be devastating. Uh, Ball John Green isn't our leading scorer this season, but he's absolutely the heart of the club. Um, you know, he always has been. He's that, he's that big, he's not just that big target man in terms of his play, he's that big target man in terms of, in terms of life. You know, he's the person, he's the person you hug first when you score. You know, he's always there for you. And it's just unimaginable to try to finish a season without him. It's just, yeah, it's just... Not, not, oh, just devastated right now. Oh, Jesus Angel is not a finisher. Let's face it, he really never has been. Admittedly, that cross could have been a little bit better. You know what I might have should have done? I might should have had him just head it back toward Dima Goldrilocks, who was more of a finisher. Oh, Escargo uh, might have just taunted one of the Fulham players there, which isn't classy, but, you know. You can't always control Escargo. He's just go, 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 go. I'm sorry, I'm trying to provide good commentary, but like deep down, I just feel really kind of like sick to my stomach. Um, trying to imagine, I'm trying to imagine how we're, we're gonna win, how we're gonna make it, how we're gonna win. Gosh, I don't know how we're gonna win the Premier League or the FA Cup without Ball John Green. You know, I mean, he's just, he's the biggest, literally and figuratively, He's the biggest player on our club. Oh, come on! Those were some ridiculous saves there. Full points, I guess. We almost had 42 seconds of silence when Merrick Merrick scored, but no. I mean, this has been a, it's been a great, entertaining football match. It's just the devastation. That's all you can say. Just... Oh, I mean, I've never felt this bad about a win in my entire swoodly pooping career. So the miracle of Swindon Town will have to get truly miraculous now as we play on without the great bald John Green. We're going to have to find a way. We've got three games to go. The FA Cup final, two games in the Premier League. We're up two points on Manchester United, and we're just going to have to find a way. Why are you squatting in shame? I'm the one who lost bald John Green. Oh, congratulations to the Swoodley Poopers. Let's quickly see if, if uh, Manchester United uh, won against Newcastle. So, right, there we go. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.